Island Line is a brand of the South Western Railway Train Operating Company which runs the 8.5 mile Island Line on the Isle of Wight. A standalone franchise from 1996 until 2007, it then became part of the South Western franchise operated by South West Trains until August 2017 and since by South Western Railway. History Before Island Line From 1985 to 1990 rail services on the Isle of Wight operated under the brand Ridey Rail. In 1986 Network Southeast was created, itself part of British Rail, and Ridey Rail was incorporated into it as a sub-brand. Island Line The name Island Line first came into use in 1989, when Class 483 trains were introduced on the route, and this new brand name and a logo were included on the train's livery. However, this rebranding did not officially occur until 1994, when it had completely replaced all Ridey Rail branding. From 1989 until 1996 Island Line was a sub-brand of Network Southeast. In 1996, services on the line were privatized as the Island Line franchise, with the winning bid from Stagecoach legal name Island Line Limited. On commencing operations on 13 October 1996 the name Island Line for the passenger service was retained. Island Line was the only passenger franchise that included maintenance of the infrastructure in addition to the running of passenger services. Island Line was reportedly Britain's most reliable and punctual train company. The shortness and simplicity of the route may contribute to this. The Island Line franchise was, until February 2007, the smallest train operating company on the national rail network. It was combined with the South West Trains franchise to form the new South Western franchise in an effort to reduce the number of train operating companies. Although South West Trains operated the line thereafter, the Island Line branding was retained. Island Line trains have repainted all their stations in a heritage cream and green color scheme, as part of a general station improvement package. Operations under South Western Railway In March 2017 the DFT awarded the franchise to a first group, MTR consortium with South Western Railway, which includes the Island Line, commencing on 20 August 2017. It will run until at least August 2024 with an option for the DFT to extend for a further year. South Western Railway will be working with the local council and bodies with regards to replacing the rolling stock, upgrading the infrastructure and adding an additional passing loop to introduce a 30-minute service to improve connection times with the ride to Portsmouth Ferry Service and the hovercraft. These expected changes were received favorably by the Keep Island Line in Franchise group, who have been campaigning for improvements to the line for several years. Rolling stock Standard national rail vehicle types cannot be used by island line trains, due to the low ceiling within ride tunnel, where the track bed needed to be raised following flooding. Instead, services are operated using Class 483 units, which are refurbished ex-London underground tube trains originally built in 1938. These replaced the older Class 485 and Class 486 units, which dated from 1923 and were introduced to the island in 1967 when the line was electrified. The Class 483 trains entered service on the island in 1989, originally painted in the standard Network Southeast livery. South West Trains bought the stock outright from the leasing company HSBC Rail in March 2007 for the nominal sum of £1. The purchase meant that the leasing costs, which were reimbursed by the government, were eliminated, thereby lowering the line's tax burden. 
The rolling stock operate in the former London Regional Transport livery, which the units would have had when operating on the London Underground. Two units first received this livery in 2000, when the rest were painted in a blue livery with pictures of dinosaurs aiming to entice tourists in the summer months when passenger numbers are high. A modern change is that there are yellow warning panels on the front ends of the units, required for the safety of track workers and a change compared with the original red. The livery was introduced as part of a refurbishment completed between 2007 and 2008, funded by leasing company HSBC Rail, which also included work at all stations. Rolling stock also received the same seat moquette that the London Underground A60 and A62 stock received during their refurbishment between 1993–98, and interior route maps in green. Stations also received new tarmac platforms, green and cream painted seating, new waiting shelters and heritage style station name boards. Following its successful bid for the new integrated franchise, Southwest Trains announced in 2006 that there were no plans to replace the current rolling stock, instead they would invest to ensure the continued viability of the existing island line rolling stock and infrastructure. Topic: Current fleet. Topic: Tube stock. Topic: The route. The railway has eight stations: Ride Pier Head, Ride Esplanade. Ride St. John's Road, Smallbrick Junction, Braiding, Sandown, Lake, Shanklin. <laughs> 